What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. I am Chris, as always, back with another exciting, fun-filled video. We're going to be talking about PS3 hidden gems, or games that just didn't get any love, or games that you might have never heard of. Who knows? Anyways, let's get into it, uh, shall we? Before we get into it, actually, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button. Because it really does help us out. We're trying to hit 70 subscribers before the end of the year. And that'd be awesome if we can do that. If we can, then I will be giving away something on the channel. Alright guys. Uh, first game up. Uh, it, I believe this is a PS3 and Xbox 360. Uh, it, it was released for both of those systems. However, I've only played the PS3 version of them. Because I bought... Uh, all these games on PS3, and uh, that is the fighting game known as Blaz Blue or Blaze Blue or whatever you want to call it. But anyways, this is my absolute favorite fighting franchise, and Calamity Tri Trigger, which this one is, is my favorite out of all of them. Um, this game is fantastic. Its colors are just amazing. Um, the animation in it is fantastic the music in it is by far the best fighting music ever if not one of the best you know uh soundtracks um that i've heard in a fighting game um mechanics of the game i mean combos just how quick it is it's it's one of those franchises where uh it just doesn't get enough love i feel um and uh, I hope you guys have a chance to check uh, this series out, especially Calamity Trigger. If you haven't checked it out, guys, go ahead and check it out. Our next game is going to be uh, a little game that I picked up from GameStop um, probably, I don't know, a couple years ago. Um, and I, I've played it a couple times. It's pretty funny and pretty good. And that's uh, Naughty Bear. Um, uh, excuse the uh, green screening. Um this is the gold edition. This, uh, I unfortunately I never got to play this online with anybody because uh, by the time I got to play this, obviously um, the the servers were shut down. But this game follows like a bear where you uh, you get angry at the rest of the village that you live in because you keep messing up and they keep making fun of you, and you just kind of snap one day and uh, you just go out, you know, with different weapons and you. You beat the crap out of all the other bears that are in the village. Um, it it's, it's a violently fun game. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to children. Um, but uh, if you're looking for a good time just to take some angst out, um, <clears throat> it's a fantastic game. Uh, you guys should go check it out. Um, and, uh, yeah, just check it out. Naughty Bear. It's, 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 it's great. All right, guys. The next game we're going to talk about is a combat car racing game. Um, the original one came out for 360, and the second one came out for PS3 exclusively. This is Full Auto 2 Battle Lines. Uh, the reason I got into online multiplayer game was the first game on 360, um, Full Auto, and then this one came out. It was just, it was, it's fantastic. The franchise is fantastic. In fact, I wish they would bring these games back. Anyways, you. In the storyline, you 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 follow a, a storyline of uh, you upgrade your cars and you go through and you put weapons on your cars and basically it's a combat uh, while you're racing. So it's not so much like Twisted Metal, more of the longs the line of um, uh, uh, Burnout Paradise or Burnout Revenge. I should say not so much open world, but Burnout uh, with weapons, um, very arcadey. Uh, very colorful, very fun, um, and the multiplayer online was fantastic when the servers were up. It was such a good game. Um, so you guys can check out uh, Full Auto 2 Battle Lines. It's it's a great PS3 game, guys, and I think it was uh, vastly overmissed and uh, was not a, a claim to be what the first one was. Next game we're going to be talking about is another game that I feel uh, was very underrated. Um, and this game uh, feels like Gears of War to me, uh, the way it plays, the way... Uh, uh, you shoot and everything else, third-person view, and that's Fuse on PS3. This game is uh, fantastic, um, especially if you have uh, multiple people 
uh, playing. You can play uh, up to four players online. Um, I believe the servers are down now, but one to two on split screen. Um, and uh, like I said, third person uh, fighting view where or uh, shooting view where uh, it's very similar, like I said, to Gears of War. Um, uh, kind of a wall sticker type of uh, game. It is uh, a fantastic game. You guys can go check it out. Um, that is Fuse uh, by Insomniac Games. Great, great, great game. And the next game I want to talk about, guys, is a wrestling game. No, not a 2K game. Because we all know those are just trash, right? Um, this is a game um, I actually really like. And uh, it fell behind. It didn't really do very well. Um, and I feel like this game uh, was... Uh, it was just a fun arcadey game, and uh, this is uh, Legends of WrestleMania, uh, where you can go through and um, you can go through and you can play as you know uh, at that time Stone Cold and you know the Undertaker and um, uh, you know uh, Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan and The Rock, you know, in his heyday, and it uh, just so much fun, you know, all the WWF superstars. Um, it's a great game. It actually is made by THQ, um, and Ukes. So those are the same guys that did like the, uh, N64, uh, wrestling games, uh, which were some of my favorite. And, um, the, f the game, the style of the game is very much like that. It's very fluid. Um, and it, it, it just feels good. The controls feel good. And, um, in fact, they still feel better than the newer WWE 2k games to me so you guys go check that out if you guys are wrestling fans uh wwf legends of wrestlemania by thq go check that out and the last game i have to proclaim my favorite ps3 game um and yes it is uh made on xbox 360 as well it was released on there however i only played the ps3 version so therefore it is my favorite ps3 game and i have played through it about three times and i am not a fan of this franchise whatsoever um even the board games but this one game just got me um and that is a uh, space marine uh 40,000 uh, warhammer 40,000 space marine this game is um it's a first person uh shooter um and you just kind of go it's it's like doom and gears of war had a baby um uh with the elements of some rpg in there <clears throat> to upgrade yourself um it is a, a fantastic game guys you should go and check that out um you kind of go through this world um it also reminds me of um bullet storm uh if anybody ever played that game uh it, it kind of has that element to it too it's not as fast paced but it it feels like that where it's it's very arcadey and just fun to play um, so yeah, Space Marine, uh, my favorite PS3 game. You guys go check that out. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for, uh, watching the show again, guys. Uh, make sure, uh, once again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we're trying to get to that 70, uh, subs, um, by the end of the year. I don't know if we're going to make it guys, but, uh, we got five more to go. And if we do hit that 70, like I said, I will be giving away something on the channel. So you guys, uh, go ahead and hit that, uh, subscribe, that like button, uh, and make sure you guys come back for more content. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for a wonderful year. And, um, you know, 220s, 2020 is almost gone and we're almost in 2021. So hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get there all in one piece. All right, guys, peace out. See you later. As Aaron would say, bye bye.